hello everyone so this is the second question in which i will discuss is how how we can have a fact sales table okay and it has around 6 billion rows and it is loaded in nightly by using a batch process so you must provide the creative reduction in space for the database to maximize performance so which type of compression you need to use you need to use column store archival compression for more information you can go through this link in which there is the full description as how a data compression is working in sql server and what is exactly the data compression actually it is nothing it is a kind of like for a roast for tables and indexes it is using data compression feature to help reduce the size of the database and it is using to save the space also it, it is using to improve the uh, performance of io instance workload because the data is stored in fewer pages and queries need to read fewer pages from disk okay also it is you can configure row and page compression on the following database objects like a whole table that is stored as a heap or a cluster index or a whole known cluster index or a whole uh, you know indexed views and for partition tables and uh, indexes you can configure the completion option these are few parameters on which you can perform on the each partition if you are from the database background you know what is uh, cluster known cluster index and partitions our uh, next question is like you have a scenario where you have microsoft sql server 2019 database named db1 and it is a kind of database level and instance level feature there is a cluster column store index is automatic tuning change tracking polybase now you plan to migrate db1 to an azure sql database what feature you need to remove or replace before db1 can be migrated it should be polybase for more information you can go the docs.microsoft.com and there is, there is a topic of polybase feature and limitation and here if you go through that is a kind of uh, you know what are the features are available in azure sql database sql synapse analytics parallel data warehouse or in the beginning next uh, it is a very important uh, you know topic in this question we have a microsoft sql server 2019 instance and it is a on premises data center and instance contain a 4 tb database db1 now you need to migrate to azure sql database manage instance so for reducing downtime and data loss what would you do always use azure database migration service read this question again and again because i got this question in my is 900 exam and is 305 in both of the uh, exam i got this question even in dp 300 also i got this question so in this question uh, you have to select backup type and backup option always select full and log backup only and backup option with check check sum so in check some azure database migration services use backup and restore method to migrate your own premises databases to sql manage instance and migration service only supports backup created using checksum so it is the correct answer and for this topic you can go to the known issues as a sql db manage instance online so from there you get to know all the known issues also you can get the migration limitation with online migration to azure sql uh my instance and here you can get to know backup required it is a mandatory one and uh, data and log file layout file stream in memory and migration retest so and next question uh, yeah so in this you have a resource group app one the dab that contains an azure uh, sql database server named dab server one contain an azure sql database named db1 and here the schema and permission for db1 saved in it, microsoft sql server tools now you need to populate a new resource named with app one test with db1 database and there is a Azure SQL Server named Test Server 1. Which four actions you perform? 
and uh, I must say you need to know that first of all we need to export a Zeus resource manager template then change the server name and related variable and then from Azure portal deploy the templates from database of project deploy the database is command permission it is a very very you know because it is very important question and I remember I got this question because whenever you are going to deploy any template you should know how you can change the server name variable name and how you can deploy a template and what are the database object that need database schemas and permission okay and in this question you have a question of azure synapse and uh, analytic dedicated sql pool name pool one and azure data lake storage into account now you plan to exit the file in account one by using an external file and you need to create a data source in pool one that you can reference when you create the external table so how do you uh, you complete this in touch the ship goal statement always remember if there is an account one and there is the option of create external data source then you can select on blob and type is equal to huddle so for external table what is external table is it nothing in this these tables are you know having data outside the database and from there you need to import the data into your database so this is the command through which we can input the data from external table in azure and uh, you need to give the uh, location for the same and you know that uh, synapse uh, is using for you know blob or hadoop type of uh, you know uh, data located in hadoop or uh, uh, like native external tables or data like stories actually these external tables used to read data from files or write data to files in azure stories and with synapse sql you can use external to read external data using dedicated sql pool or serverless sql pool so uh, this is the type like external table type or hadoop or native also remember this perquet tables are available in public preview because i remember that from uh, this perquet table related question also i got in is that 900 and this in this exam also okay so is serverless sql pool available in hadoop no in native no but it is available in external table type and uh, is supported uh, format but in hadoop we have csv bucket orc high orc and in native we have serverless sql pool so please go through this topic so that you have some idea regarding how we can use external table so in this video because it is you know time consuming so i am stopping this video and in next video i will cover the another questions because i have a round of 191 question and trust me if you are going through this question you can easily crack the p300 exam